They may look like puffed up superheroes decked out in futuristic costumes, but behind this suit is a highly trained and specialised soldier. One that is part of the bomb disposal squad in the Singapore Armed Forces. If you think it's just like in the movies, entering a bomb zone armed only with a clipper and a razor sharp mine, slicing the red followed by the blue wire, well, you are so wrong. We don't usually cut wires like in Hollywood movies because it's dangerous. Unless in extreme situations where they are hostages, then in that case we have to move in physically to defuse the bomb. With the imminence of bomb threats, training to be in the bomb squad is intense and demanding, and only a selected few get to suit up. I got to try on the bomb suit, but it was only possible with the help of the guys on the team. So I have on me the 30 kilogram bomb suit made up of Kevlar and armor plates. It feels really, really heavy. It's really stifling and hot in here. Trust me on this. You know, in fact, I feel like I might just fall over if I started walking at my normal pace. For Staff Sergeant Tan, moving around in the bomb suit seems to be an easier task. After all, he often spends time walking around and climbing up stairs, all the while suited up as part of conditioning training. And when Staff Sergeant Tan isn't in his bomb suit, he engages in physical exercises, much like every other soldier, except he does so in his own unique way. This is where the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit trains in scenario simulators. The details are as rare as it gets, with specially designed areas that look like hotel rooms, terrorist bomb production facilities, and dark ridden war zones. Precision is imperative, and the team trains rigorously to ensure that they are more than ready when activated. Okay, in an activation, uh, usually when we move to the site, we will uh, send in our remote means, uh, for, for example, the robot. What the robot does is actually sometimes it goes in for surveillance. It can do render safe procedures as well. The robot carries a water disruptor. What the water disruptor does, it, it projects a very high velocity jet of water into the explosive device, thereby disrupting it. Subsequently, after that, after the render, render safe procedure, the EOD technician or EOD operator uh, will move in to uh, confirm that uh, the scenario is safe before handing over to the proper authorities. Even then, the risks that the team is exposed to are very real. But for Staff Sergeant Tan, that demanding nature is exactly what keeps him constantly striving to be the best that he can be. It takes a lot of guts, uh, mental strength and physical strength in order to be in this job. Though my job is very risky, but it is a very fulfilling job, knowing that I can keep Singapore safe 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So after spending half the day with Staff Sergeant Tan and his team and also understanding how the bomb disposal unit operates, I must say that I really admire and respect the courage, determination and pure commitment that these guys possess. So what is that? Well, I think they've just been activated and are going to be deployed off the go. And I guess that's it for me. I'm out. See you soon.